Really glad this hasn't got Tom Cruise in it. Hi guys, it's True here bringing you another True Review and this is the Mummy Demastered. It's been out for a little while now and it is priced at £15.99 in the UK and $19.99 in the US. It came out middle of October, the reason I'm only covering it just now is because of my illnesses, I didn't have time to play the game properly and I feel this one deserves to be covered. Now it is based on the film The Mummy which came out in 2017 starring Tom Cruise which was critically panned and was an abysmal movie to be honest with you, it was truly truly dreadful. If you want to watch a modern day mummy film, I'd recommend the Brendan Fraser ones and uh, they are significantly better than this pile of tripe but I'm pleased to say the game is a completely entirely different beast it is actually rather good the game centers on the same themes you have to stop the mummy who has been reawakened and to travel to London you play as a, uh, a nondescript army guy you've not actually got a name you are just special ops guy and that's pretty much it and it's nice that um, a game in the Metroidvania style has a modern day setting rather than the futuristic ones of the Metroid and obviously the classic Castlevania gothic castle kind of feel of, of that series. This one is you know definitely centered in like modern day times. I feel like you don't know what a Metroidvania style game is it's usually when you have a character who's just got the most basic of abilities normally a weapon and the ability to jump and that's pretty much it and you have to progress through the, the levels uh, many many screens trying to acquire new abilities more life points more ammo more ammo capacity uh, and new abilities to help you traverse the many many screens normally the first time through the rooms you can't exit through all of the doors like on this occasion we have wooden doors which you need grenades to get through there's metal doors which need c4 to get through there's uh, ceilings you can't reach jumps you can't make because they're out of reach or platforms which are just too far of your your basic jump and that's how the game progresses you explore more of the map you discover more abilities build up more life points and ammo to be able to tackle the game's many many bosses and adversaries whilst working your way towards the ultimate goal of defeating the mummy. Now whilst this is clearly heavily inspired by the classic Metroidvania games, it doesn't really bring anything new to the table which is probably the major criticism of the game. It is basically a homage to those, uh, those classic games, which doesn't really mean that's a bad thing because what it does do is it, does, it, it pays that homage rather, rather well. The only thing that's really probably missing from it is hidden items. A lot of the classic um, Metroid games and classic Castlevania games had objects hidden in very obscure places rather than just in hidden rooms. They were hidden through in, in passages or sections of walls which meant getting 100% item completion very very problematic. This doesn't tend to have that. They, each of the objects and, and collectibles and power-ups seem to be located in, in just within the basic rooms but what it does offer is 50 other relics that need collecting which offer no um, no purpose to the actual progression of the gameplay but they offer you a different ending if you manage to recover all 50 relics and these relics can be hidden in any destructible item in in the many many screens and with them being 50 to collect this is the, the, the biggest thing that you'll be probably doing before completing the game if you're going for a full 100% completion and what I really enjoyed about this game was its overall presentation it's got that classic pixelized uh, kind of look which makes it feel like a, a game coming from the 16 bit era which I really really like because I, I love that era of gaming and the controls are tight as you could imagine there's um, you know from your basic jumping from your rolling to shooting you can even lock yourself in position so you can uh, narrow those angles down to uh, kill pesky enemies it just uh, controls just like a like a dream to be honest with you and when you get more abilities such as the ability to cling onto the ceilings and stuff that all just seems to work and you're, you're at home with the, con the new controls and your new skills straight away. Speaking of uh, the level design, the level design is classic Castlevania as well, like big massive tall rooms which lead off to various rooms going left and right there, there's doors that get in your way, um, classic enemies that cling onto the screen there and fly left and right across the tall corridors, enemies that come out of the water, you know, constantly spawning enemies as well as a classic feature of this, this type of, of game type and, and the amount of uh, different uh, variety of the enemies is, is amazing. Now a Castlevania game wouldn't be a Castlevania 
Castlevania game without bosses and this game has lots of them and they, all, they are all very well designed they all have unique attack patterns and in classic Castlevania uh, Metroid style these bosses are heavily pattern based so it's going back to old school gameplay where you need to learn the patterns and memorize the patterns to be successful in them now the big big criticism I have with the bosses is they are definitely definitely way too much of a bullet sponge the amount of damage they soak up is astronomical I mean to the point where it got boring on a few boss battles and which was a little bit funny really because the final boss I found <laughs> wasn't like that at all the final boss went down surprisingly quickly compared to everything else but nevertheless it, it's, a, it's a cracking it's a cracking game from start to finish I mean, it took me about eight hours to complete and i did manage to 100 percent the game uh, without a guide it's uh, it's a game that if you just do explore thoroughly and um, just keep an eye out for the hidden doors and things and shoot all the destructible objects in each scene as you're going through you'll find all the relics you'll find all the power-ups you know complete the game to, and get the get the true ending for it Achievement wise, if you uh, it's mainly progression based, every single item you pick up, every new weapon, gun ability is tied to an achievement, killing the bosses gives you achievements, um, there's some a few completion ones for getting 100% of the map uncovered, getting all 50 relics, um, there's one for not dying in the entire game but that one's kind of a mute point really because you can just abuse the save system, just when you save the game, exit out, copy, it, copy the save into a new slot as a backup in case you do die and just carry on that basis. So so really isn't much of a, of, a, of a problem to be honest with you at all but for, for $15.99 in the UK it's, it's a fantastic it's a fantastic about for money title and if you're a fan of the Metroidvania style of gameplay uh, then this is a no-brainer this is a definite definite must buy and that's um, it's gonna get uh, recommended from myself on this occasion so I hope you enjoyed the review guys please remember to like comment and subscribe and do share the video it really does help the channel and I'll catch you on the next one